Hi, Thimbles and Things, we've been making these adorable little uh, mask cases and we just wanted to give you a video today on how to put them together. The, um, they're a zippered case for keeping your clean masks in your purse. The pattern is on our website. There's a PDF there you can download. So you're going to need a zipper, a 14 inch zipper, and two pieces of fabric, one for the exterior, one for the interior, about nine, nine inches by 12, uh, no bigger than that. And you're going to need some wonder tape. So put the, um, on the nine by 12 pieces of both the exterior and the interior, put your interfacing, your fusible interfacing on first. Um, doesn't matter uh, what, it just depends how stiff you would like, how much body you would like in your mask case. Um, you can use a mid-weight, uh, I use Decor Bond on the lining and a mid-weight on the exterior. Then you're going to cut out the template from the pattern. Now, I do the template on freezer paper and then I can fold my 9 by 12 piece in half. This is the fold line and you just fuse on your freezer paper and then you can cut it out and, and the freezer paper will just come off. It's, it's very easy to do it that way, I find. Then you're going to take your pieces that you've cut out, they, uh, they look like this. Um, you're going to take them and both the interior and the exterior, fold it in half lengthwise, match up your corners here, find your center right here and put a pin. And you're going to do that on all four curves, two on the lining and two on the exterior. You're going to, on your zipper, you're going to fold your zipper in half and put a pin right at the center. Now you're going to take your wonder tape and wonder tape is um, a fusible it, fusible tape that uh, wash it, will wash away. So keep it in a plastic bag, um, the humidity does affect it, and it is just a marvelous little tape. It's got paper on one side. I put the wonder tape right around the curve from corner to corner on here, and then I will take off the paper and you can see the fusible, the sticky part. Okay, so you're going to do that actually on all four curves, but we'll just start with one for now. Leave your pin in in the center. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your exterior piece with your wonder tape. There's wonder tape on here. I pulled off the paper and I put on the zipper. Now the zipper goes on with the zipper pull down on the, see it's zipper pull side down on the exterior. I've matched my center and I've laid the zipper down around the curve, just to the corner. Then I'm gonna take my lining piece, where I've put the wonder tape, I'm going to take the paper off of the wonder tape. Oh, come on, it just, uh, you just have to discuss with it about taking it off. Take your paper off, and then you're going to lay the lining matching those pins. You're going to match these pins, and you're going to match the corners. And the wonder tape has decided to move a little bit. Um, see, I've got a pin right here, and I'm going to match these two corners, okay? And then I'm going to fit the zipper in along the curve. Now I've done that on this piece, and I've used the Wonder Clips. Wonder Tape is marvelous, but we usually put zippers on, on a straightaway. Around a curve, I just found that the clips helped hold it a bit better. And then you're going to stitch, and you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam right around here. Now I use a quarter inch foot. You can use a zipper foot if you want, but I find that the quarter inch foot just rides along right there and gives me a good seam. So I've done that on this one, okay? So it's all stitched. And before I turn it, I'm going to clip my curved seam, about every half inch here, quarter inch across the top, and you're gonna clip to within one stitch length of the seam. Now what I, I want to do is open up the zipper. You pull this, pull the side you've stitched to the right side, open up your zipper, and then turn it back again. What the important thing is for putting on this, sewing the zipper on the second side, 
is matching the pins. You're going to fold your zipper. It's just one side that you have. You're going to fold it in half, find the center, again, match your pins, and you're going to match your corners. And your the important thing is that the zipper is the same length from each corner here. Okay, so from here to here and here to here is the same length and the same on this side. Okay, stitch around, clip it again. Clip your seam again. Turn it all to the right side then and you want to top stitch around on the exterior. And what I do is I run my quarter inch foot along the edge of the zipper and I find it gives me a nice line for the top stitch. Then Put your zipper part way, not totally, just do it up part way and flip your case to the, to the lining side. You're going to do, perhaps on the end, without the zipper pull, you want to baste it first. Take your three inch by two inch piece of binding, fold it in so it's one and a half by two, stitch it across, you're going to now cut your zipper and flip it up and over so that you've got a nice cover. It finishes off and covers the raw edges. And then you can turn it to the right side, push out the corners, and you have a lovely mask case for your clean masks in your purse.